first of all, what is working for you? <laughs> Merci, mon ami. Um, uh, what is what is working for me? Um, working um, is life. It's it's self-expression. It's freedom. Uh, I was 19 when I started um, dancing in the clubs, and I started whacking. And I was coming from from one place. Uh, I was married. I thought I wanted to be a veterinarian, and I walked into this disco and the DJ changed my life that night and no it's true it's like the song last night a DJ changed my life it's really like the song it helped me find who I was and who I was going to be um, and the club was a safe space for us all to explore and um, find ourselves and create an identity. So the whacking as a dance has remained in my heart, in my soul. Um, it's part of me. Definitely. And, um, So as I said in the beginning, you, you had the, the great opportunity to work with a great artist, legends, and what was, what was it like to work with Diana Ross? Um, Can you tell, tell us when the first time you met her and how the magic... Uh... Well, I was doing a show for a woman named Tony Basil, um, and I don't know if the room knows her. You might know a song that she did back in the, seven, in the 80s. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind, hey, Mickey. Anyway, that's Tony Basil. And she's an incredible dancer, singer, choreographer, and I was doing her show, and uh, a man named David Winters, who was a dancer in the film, the original film, West Side Story, and a, very important director and choreographer asked me to be his assistant choreographer and lead dancer for Diana Ross. I was 20 years old and I just found myself in this place. And I helped convince her that rather than take something predictable, there was this new dance and these dancers that were doing something that was uh, in the gay clubs, it was underground, it was new, um, and I took her to the club, and she fell in love with it, and, and she said, I have to have this, and the rest of my career is history, but I don't really want to talk about me. Oh! I'd like to talk about all of these people. That was my next question. Was what did you think about the, the people, well, the dancers tonight? What did you f feel, you know? Well, I want to share something with, with everyone. Um, after our class that we had yesterday, which was more than a class, it was an experience, it was a scene, um, I was so excited, I went home and had something to eat and I posted something on Facebook um, from the class of all of you dancing. And just went to bed with a smile on my face. And in the morning I woke up to my phone blowing up, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> And I'm wondering, you know, is there like an earthquake in California or is Donald Trump president again? Or is that, I, I don't know. What's happening? I, 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 I'm sorry. I digress. Um, but I knew something is going on. And so I opened up my phone and Facebook was blowing up about all of you. And... 
Interestingly enough, those people that took class last night, the people that I was talking about that are still alive, that are still in the community, all of them had seen the video and it was like they were living the experience again through all of you. And um, not only did Princess Lockeroo chime in and, you know, say you guys killed it, Kamari, and then uh, the same from LA, and then a young man from Sweden, Joachim Hovel, who's the creator and producer of Street Star, who was one of my babies back in the day, and we danced together in Sweden in the 80s in a group I had called Whack Attack. He had, I mean, everybody was just like, what the fuck is going on in Montreal? <laughs> What is in the water? What are they eating? What is happening? So I decided I'm not going home. Yes! Oh my God, stay with us! <laughs> anyway, it's not about me. It's all of you. I'm connected through you. And I am honored to be here. Excel, thank you for for the invitation. Thank you to your staff and your crew. Um, thank you, Montreal. Enough about me. Thank, thank you. you. You billion l'applaudit plein fort. Merci, Billy. On a trop de la chance.